Our next poetry is color poetry, and this one can be really fun, especially for mindfulness and for sensory input. We're going to be using the five senses on this. So it's going to be all about your favorite color. It actually doesn't have to be about a favorite color. It could be about, um, I, I remember reading one called Orange is My Enemy, and it was all about the reasons why orange was horrible and used the five senses in that. Um, but it can be your favorite. Um, it could also be um, a, describing a color in relation to feelings. Um, so for example, um, what does blue feel like? Does it feel sad, isolated, lonely? Um, those are usually the feeling words that are associated with um, blue and then with red it's angry it's aggressive it can be kind of playful too at times um, so you can describe it in regards to feelings as well um, remember the five senses are our sight our smell our taste our touch and our hearing so we want to make sure that we're including all of those things within our poem so every line starts with your color. Gold is the color of a lemon. Gold is valuable. Valuable is totally spelled incorrectly there. Gold tastes like a chocolate bunny. Gold smells like happiness. Are you noticing all the misspellings here? Yep. It's an example of a younger student, um, so hopefully you're picking up on those. Gold feels like a brick. Gold sounds like my name. Gold looks like a chicken. Gold makes me giggle. Gold is my favorite color. You can see the five senses in there. Um, so when it says it's the color of a lemon, you're probably also tasting the lemon, um, but it's actually just describing its color first. Um, what it actually says it tastes like is a chocolate bunny. Um, it smells like happiness. I'm not quite sure what happiness smells like. It's probably different for each person. Um, you might say that gold smells like a daisy or um, you could think of like how gold actually smells, like the smell of gold is actually kind of metallic smelling, right? Okay, so let's go on to uh, some different examples. Red is the color of blood. Red is cool. Ooh, now again, these are examples where we're looking at what's wrong about them too. Um, red is cool is so non-descriptive, right? I could probably describe anything as cool. Um, it's just a word that we have retired. We put it in our uh, word graveyard. So we're trying to be way more descriptive where we can actually taste and see and hear and smell these words and feel them too. So let's make sure we're staying away from things like red is cool. <laughs> red tastes like a sour apple. Red smells like a rose. Red feels like mad. Red sounds like firecrackers. Um, red looks like a rainbow. Red makes me mad. Red is my favorite color. Um, again, you don't have to do it about your favorite color. This is a pattern that these younger students are kind of following. Um, you can absolutely put down um, that red is your least favorite color. You don't have to even write that. You can write all the terrible things about red, right? All right, let's move on. You're gonna take out your packet. You're gonna choose a color to describe. Um, again, it can be totally based on feelings. Um, so a big thing at my church recently is we've been talking about how God makes all things new. And especially during this season, where um, we're in this quarantine and there is a virus going around, um, God is still doing something very, very new right now and he's got a plan and he's working right now as we speak. So for me, the color that I would probably choose is white, which is actually all the colors on the spectrum, um, which I think is kind of cool to think about. Um, and I, I think I would describe how white is the color that makes me think of newness and also just the variety of colors in our rainbow. Again, you can choose what you want. It can be something that makes you feel mad, irritated, upset, calm, um, 
a little bit more isolated blue. All right, have fun with your color poem. You're just going to be drafting um, as many as you want, really, with your color poetry. You can kind of play around with it, but you, you definitely need to have at least one done. All right, bye.